Hey folks, E King again. So, in my last video, three reasons why your ideas fail, uh, we covered the three things you see here, which is most people fail to get their ideas off the ground because they just don't have a plan or they're not decisive enough, they don't make a decision to do something, and then it, you know, the making the decision and taking action goes hand in hand, and they fail to do one or the other, or they just uh, don't get help or don't get the right kind of help. And so if you haven't seen the first one, go back and watch this, that first video, uh, before moving on to the, this video right here. Because in this video, we're gonna concentrate primarily on this number two, which is, uh, make a decision and then act upon that decision. And let me ask you this. Have you ever had an idea or a project that you always just told yourself you were going to get around to it, you know, to do it, or you actually never did get around to it only to find out that somebody else did make millions off of it? I know I have. Dang, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> No, just kidding. But we, we all, I'm sure, can relate. We either have done it ourselves or we know somebody who put something off, put something off, and never got around to doing it, and then somebody else made millions off of the same idea. So in this video, uh, I've got a clip coming up right now that hopefully is going to motivate you enough to take action and take action now. Let's go ahead and get motivated. If you died today, what dreams, what ideas, what gifts, what talents, what voice, what stories will die with you? See, a lot of people go to work every day miserable and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are. But they don't do anything about it. You know that you're deliberately operating below your potential. You've gotten comfortable. You stop expanding. You stop stretching. You stop challenging yourself. It's hard living. Life is hard. So most people don't use their imaginations. Most people don't dream anymore. Why? Because through the conditioning process of life, after so many rejections, see, you know what you can do. You know what you have done. And you also have seen what has been done by others in your environment, by others in your circumstances. Then you look at where you want to go. And what most people do, they do that which they feel they know that can work because they've already done it or they've seen it done. And so they allow their negative history to determine the possibilities for them. And so when they run into a roadblock, even if they have something beyond their comfort zone, when they run into a roadblock, something happens to them. Most people allow life to control them and their circumstances. Look into the future. What is it you want? What is it you'd like to create for you? You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. See, that will start making you do some stuff. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution to your making things happen in your life is you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. 
that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Live your life with passion, with some drive. You've got to remind yourself that you've got powers within you, talents within you, that you haven't even reached for yet. So whatever dream you've got, that dream, that idea, that has been given to you. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make it? That you can't have your dream? Who can guarantee that you can't do what you want to do? No one can do that. No one can predict that. All we need to do is we look at our dream. If we get ready to hit the floor, I'm, I'm blessed and highly favored. target he could not see? That's a pretty good question. Here's another one. How can you hit a target you do not have? Besides, planes are built for flying. Ships are built for sailing. Houses are built for living. And man, too, was built for purpose. He was designed for accomplishment. He's engineered for success. He's endowed with the seeds of greatness and the greatest danger we as human beings have is when we do not do anything at all. People today complain of lack of time. It's not lack of time that's the problem, it's the lack of direction. Are you a wandering generality or are you a meaningful, specific? Are you going to work tomorrow because that's what you did yesterday? If that's the reason you're going tomorrow, you won't be as good tomorrow as you were yesterday because you're two days older and no closer to the goal you do not have. What about you personally? Have you got your goals laid out? Are you a meaningful specific or are you a wandering generality? See, you are part of an equation, and you are needed. Part of why we should begin to look at how we give up our lives, and that we've got to begin to see what is it that I'm supposed to do? What is my life work? And then give ourselves to that. Because as we do that, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you, as you begin to take on this new era that we're in, if you decide that I'm going to begin to start living life, I'm going to start giving more of myself. I'm going to start putting out more, contributing more to life. Here's what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I guarantee you that life will take on a whole new meaning for you. I guarantee you that life takes on a whole new dimension. That you'll be happier. You have a greater sense of happiness and fulfillment in life. That now you will begin to take off on some new paths to some new horizons. That you'll begin to see life totally different than most people. simple one, you go as far as you can see. And when you get there, you'll always be able to see further. Are you a wandering generality? Or are you a meaningful, specific? And most of us go through life because we're not using that which we've been given, that we are punished that we're going through life getting up in the morning with no reason to get up. There's a scripture when I heard it, I couldn't understand it. I say, how cold? He that hath shall get. 
and he that hath not even that that he has shall be taken away. He that hath a generous view of life, he that has courage, he that hath initiative, he that hath resourcefulness. I say it with all of my heart, I know in my mind that man was designed for accomplishment, that he's engineered for success, that he is endowed with the seeds of greatness. Life will always give us some questions. There will be times when, when we have to take time to search ourselves. And, and saying, with all of these things out here, these roadblocks and these obstacles, what is it going to require on our part to make it happen? What's the final determining factor that will determine whether or not we're losers or winners in life? And here's what the answer is. It's you. No, it's not your circumstances. No, it's not your past. It's you. You're going to determine that. No, not what happened to you. No, no. It's you. It's you. You will determine whether or not this mission that you're on, and I believe that we're all on a mission. I believe that we all have a purpose. And we didn't just show up just to work every day and and face some hard experiences in life or go home after work and, and pop a can of beer and sit in front of the television set. No, I don't think that life is like that for us. I think that we all showed up here on a divine mission to do something. See, all of us have to begin to work to overcome certain things that we have picked up along the way in life. You've got to watch the energy that you're around, and you've got to start searching yourself to ask yourself, what is it? Is this really me? When you look in the mirror, when you look at your life, when you look at where you want to go, you've got to ask yourself the question, is this really me? Samuel Smile says, life will always be to a large extent what we ourselves make it. What we make it. What you make your life, not what circumstances make up, not what other people make up, but what you make up your life. That's what your life will be. Not what other people say it will be. Not what the environment will try and dictate to you. No, what you make it. Live now. Common consciousness to keep people from living up to their true potential. Here's something that we must begin to realize and acknowledge. We were all created to be winners. All of us. How can you prove that? We can prove it by our consciousness. Just by our subconscious mind. We were destined. We were born to be, to be winners. We have been endowed with greatness. And I think the challenge is to begin to become in alignment with who we truly are and work diligently to manifest our greatness. I'll give you an example that all of us do to demonstrate this. If, if you ever dream, whenever I had any dream, I've never been an athlete before, but anytime I have any kind of dream about sports or movies or anything, I'm always the star. A friend of mine, she had she did her father's eulogy and people were amazed at her how they knew that she was daddy's little girl they knew that they were very close in something and i asked her, how did you handle that how did you do that because everybody knew that that was not only her father but her closest friend and she said that that the day that he died she said she was in his room and she was talking to him, you know, she said, Daddy, I love you, but I'm a big girl and, and I, as much as I want you to be here, I want you to do what you want to do. But I must tell you, Daddy, I love you and I'm going to miss you. And I'm afraid of thinking of life without you. 
And she said her father started moving his lips and he couldn't speak too loud and she got closer and he said to her, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. And she said that gave her the look in his eyes. That gave her a certain assurance that there was something that even death couldn't conquer that was in her father that was now a part of her. And that was death could not take his spirit. Okay, well, hopefully now we're motivated enough to put our idea into action and, and move forward with it. Uh, be sure to look for the next video that we're going to be putting out. Uh, because the next video, I guarantee you, is going to be the game changer for you. It's what's going to help you have a breakthrough moment with your business or your idea and get it off the ground. Uh, what happens is now that your business is moving to it and you're actually moving in it with, or putting forth action, sooner or later there's going to come a point in time to where you're going to need help. And that's what the Breakthrough Woman's going to be, just how to get that help and get the right kind of help. And that's what we'll talk about in the next video. So I will see you in that next video. In the meantime, feel free to leave me a comment about this one, good, bad, or indifferent. I read them all. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.